Hey guys, how's it going? It's gonna be a very quick video for this one. I just wanna, I wanna keep, I wanna make sure you guys are well informed before I go to bed. I have, a, I have a problem with like calling it a night when I don't get all my thoughts out. And I was doing a live stream earlier, so I um didn't really get to touch a lot on the things I wanted to because I take a lot of questions and answers. It's more interactive, right, during my live streams. So I wanted to just go over very quickly with you guys that we are in a massive downtrend right now, okay guys? And I need you guys to understand why we are in a massive downtrend and why we have not found any type of relevant support yet. Let's start off with the daily. <clears throat> the daily, we're going to talk about price action first of all, right? We always talk about my 55 EMA strategy, which I'm going to explain to you guys in detail. Um, or not too much detail, but on an uptrend, it looks like this, okay? This is the 55 moving average, okay? The yellow one. The orange one is the 21 moving average. The purple one is the 13. The blue one is the 8, okay? Now, on an uptrend, it goes from lowest number on the top to the highest number on the bottom for EMA. So it goes from 8 Okay, I'm just going to get an arrow so you guys really understand what I'm talking about. It goes from 8 right here, okay, the 8's the blue one, and then it goes lower to this one right there, to the purple one, that's 13, and then it goes to the 21, and then 55. Think of the bigger number as the one that's supporting all of them, okay? Now, on a downtrend, it's reversed, okay? It's reversed where the 55 is on the top. Okay, and then the 21 is the next one, and then 13, and then the f and then the 8, okay? So once again, on an uptrend, the bigger number is on the bottom, and it goes from 8, or 55, 21, 13, and 8. But then if you're going to downtrend, the bigger one is on the top, so it's reversed. We need to remember how these moving average strategies works, right? I don't know anybody who really uses this strategy. It's kind of, um, it's it's pretty cool that that I don't know if I've introduced it to crypto, but I kid you not that I haven't really seen anybody use this strategy before. And as you guys know, this strategy is pretty killer, right? And the reason why a lot of people don't talk about these strategies is because why the heck would they want you guys to profit as well? But I've been using it for a long time now, guys, and um, yeah, I need to share it with you guys, right? So as we notice, this is a downtrend on a one hour chart or on a daily chart, right? We are on a downtrend on a 12 hour chart. We are on a downtrend on a six hour chart. We are on a downtrend on a four hour chart. See, the 55 is still well above resisting all of it. It's acting as the main resistance on all of them. On the three hour chart, we are on a downtrend. On the two hour chart, we are on a downtrend. On a one hour chart, we are on a downtrend. On a 45 minute chart, we are on a downtrend. On a 30 minute chart, we are on a downtrend. On a 15 minute chart, we are on a downtrend. On a 10 minute chart, we are on a downtrend. On a 5 minute chart, we are on a downtrend. On a 3 minute chart, we are on a downtrend. And on a 1 minute chart, we are also on a downtrend. Are you guys understanding what I'm saying? We don't have any type of support yet, okay? You guys really need to understand this right now very clearly that buying right now would be basically trying to catch a falling knife because we simply don't know where it's going to stop other than the regions that I mentioned earlier, okay? Now, where is the next first relevant support? Well, the most relevant one would be probably where we last ended up, right? Right around these regions right here. We're finding a triple support here so far, all right? Okay, we are on a triple support here. So make sure you guys understand this. But the question is, are we gonna end up just downtrending and breaking below it? Okay, I know this is a very low time frame that I'm looking at. Let's look at a five minute chart here. See, what we're seeing is, first of all, we're seeing these regions right here, right? Now, if we break below this region, guys, you need to please understand this carefully, like around the 80, whatever this low is, 80, 70. If we break below 80, 70, you will see a big downtrend. 
to the next support region, okay? 8070 is the number. First support is 8070. 8070, okay? So please remember this right here. And the second support is 9073 roughly. Right, right around this region, okay, ninety or not seventy nine hundred ish, okay, like seventy nine hundred to seventy nine thirty around there, okay. Second support seven thousand nine hundred to seven thousand nine hundred and thirty dollars, okay. If we break this, count on it getting lower, and then the next support after that is unfortunately around 7600 okay if we break the above the above support count on a free fall to 7650 range whatever that low was 7065 okay yeah 77665 so please make sure you guys understand this right here all right, so make sure you guys are looking at these support ranges and understand that if something does happen, this could very well happen. So once again, the first support is where we last had our swing low, right around there, because it's also resisting right around here, around 80, 70, okay? If we break that, second support is 79, uh, 7,900 to 7,930. And then if we break the above support, count on a free fall to 75, 76, 65 range. So, using our EMA strategy that I've been introducing to you guys, we are still in a massive free fall, okay? So make sure you guys really realize that. I, I know I've said that. Maybe I'm just too tired. I've said that too many times. I'm sorry, guys. I can barely keep my eyes open, but I want to keep everybody safe um, to let you guys know the identified ranges, all right? So I'm super sleepy. I'm going to head to bed. If you guys love these videos, make sure you upvote it, etc., etc., etc. Um, yeah, I'm going to go to bed. Good night, guys. Take it easy.